In this tutorial, I'm going to solve an empirical formula question based on combustion information. You have a compound that has only carbon and hydrogen, and you are trying to find subscripts of X and Y, for example. It's being uh, combusted or burned in presence of oxygen, plenty of oxygen, excess amount of oxygen, and you produce CO2. Since you have X moles of carbon, you will produce X moles of CO2 and you are also going to produce water or steam and since you have Y atoms of hydrogen or Y moles of hydrogen you are going to produce Y divided by 2 H2O's now this equation absolutely is not needed to solve problems so uh, do not panic I have 8.08 grams of carbon dioxide from this information I have to find how much carbon I have so I'm going to look at CO2 versus carbon. Uh, knowing molar mass of CO2, which is one carbon, 12, plus two oxygen, each 16, that's 44 grams per mole. It has one carbon in it, its atomic mass is 12. Now if I have 8.08 .08 grams of carbon dioxide, I should be able to solve my X based on this proportionality. So then again, it's cross-multiplying. 44 times x is equal to 8.08 .08 times 12. So I'm going to multiply and find x. So carbon, 8.08 .08 times 12 divided by 44 is 2.20 grams. Now let's do the same treatment for, for water and, and figure out how much hydrogen we have. In every one H2O, I have two hydrogens, so I write it here because usually I make a mistake. So I put my two hydrogen, so I remember. One H2O has two hydrogen, one oxygen. Two times one plus 16, molar mass is 18. In one H2O, I have two hydrogen, so that's two times one, which is two grams. Now let's go to the information. You have 2.64 grams of water, so I put 2.64 grams of water here, and I'm going to find my Y uh, amount of hydrogens. Then again, this is no proportionality. These two being multiplied should give me the answer for Y, and when I do this, I find out hydrogen is 2.64 times 2 divided by 18, which is 0.293 grams. I put my unit grams because otherwise I'm tempted to make a mistake and just divide them by the simplest. Put the units of grams so you don't make that mistake. So the first thing you have to watch out for is the two of the hydrogen. The second thing you should worry about is the grams at this stage. Now, then again, I'm going to look for moles. So I'm going to divide carbon and hydrogen by their respective atomic masses, 12 grams per mole, and this is 1.0 grams per mole. Let's just divide it and see how much carbons we have, which is 0.183 moles, and hydrogen happens to be 0.293 moles. Now then again, uh, in order to calculate the simplest whole numbers, I'm going to divide by the smallest of the two number, which is 0 0.183, 0 0.183. Now you have one carbon, and hydrogen becomes 1.6. You cannot report it as C1H1.6. You cannot round 1.6 to round down to 1 or round it up to 2. You have to multiply it by a number that you get the whole number. So the, the smallest number that you can multiply 1.6 by to get a whole number is 5. So multiply this by 5, which happens to be 8. Also multiply your carbon by 5, which is 5. Therefore, your empirical formula is C5. H8, which eventually in organic chemistry you learn this is an isomer of pentene. Okay, at this stage I also want to just remind you something. You can remember this poem of chemistry that sometimes works. 
what you can do is convert mass to moles so remember mass to mole which is this stage then divide by the smallest of the two numbers so remember divide by small if that doesn't give you whole numbers which wasn't my case today multiply till whole good luck until the next tutorial